After two weeks of camping near the White Sands in New Mexico, I decided to head back out west to explore an area that bordered the southeast corner of Arizona. It felt remote, and for three days, the world seemed quiet, calm, and completely at peace. I would have stayed longer, but Nathaniel and I had a photo assignment that was location specific, so it wasn't long before I was back on the road, headed for Tucson. On the way, Nathaniel surprised me with a night at Rumlen Vineyard, and it was perfect. It was always on fire, our house, our dreams. We were dancing on a wire, reckless, it seemed. I spent the next week camped out in Tucson, mostly working. I had a few photography projects to shoot and also wanted to get started on a new video since so much time had passed since my last post. Somewhere in there, our friends Michael and Priya from Washington happened to be passing through and drove out to camp. Atlas. <laughs> Where they're like patrolling and they're like, no. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. This is this guy's dad. So 16 weeks is like the youngest that any dog can be like. He tries to get up there sometimes. There's a few times he just like, like does that. Oh, oh, and he can't do it yet. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get bit on my ass like as soon as I like squat the house I'm gonna bite me and I was like Yeah. Because like not all drugs are the exact same size, right? So it's different. The sugar cane. After a week in Tucson, we headed north to Sedona for another work project. Uh, 
There's Sedona out there. There's Nathaniel. We're trying to find a unique trail up uh, in these rocks. And it's like a playground. There's so many places around here to just hike around. It's so pretty. Road 525 was a zoo, but luckily we found a remote spot with service to camp for the week. We spent the rest of our time hiking, scouting, shooting, and editing. We were there for seven days, but it seemed like only a day had passed before we were packing up again and heading south ahead of a winter storm. I'm always surprised by how quickly the time passes. I tend to view the winter months as a chance to slow down and take it easy. This winter, I even considered renting a couple months long Airbnbs, but that just hasn't happened. I've been happy being out here on the road and suddenly it's April and soon it will be May and I will have been out here for four years. I sometimes wonder what my life would be like now if I hadn't decided to move into my SUV. Part of me thinks I would still just be dreaming of taking that leap, telling myself I'll do it one day. I never imagined to be out here for so long, and yet here I am. I keep waiting for the urge to stop and call someplace home, but it just hasn't happened yet. In many ways, the road has taught me that home isn't really a place anyway. It's something you carry within, wherever you happen to go. We met up with Mariah Alice while camped out in the Superstitions, and for a few days, the three of us caught up over sunset walks and campfires. Hello. <laughs> I love spending time with Mariah. The conversations are so good, and it's always easy picking up right where we last left off, no matter how much time has passed. Plus, how cute is Finn? He looks so happy. <laughs> Sorting through footage from this past month, I realized that I forgot to film kind of a lot of important moments, especially the in-betweens. 
Turns out filming my life while actually living my life are two very different things. Mostly, I just forget to pick up my camera, but I'm okay with it. I like to think these patchwork scenes and voiceovers leave a little room for mystery, and that the gaps in my timeline tell a different kind of story, one where I'm present and just plain living. <laughs> so thanks for being here, and I will see you in the next one.